Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how you can upload your music to Identify. And if you're new to Identify, I highly recommend that you join because I've just released a video about Identify and my first take-ins with them. Now Identify is nothing more than Content ID. You can find all the information by clicking the link below. Now, I want to show you how you can do this very easily and I'm just going to upload a music track as we speak. So as soon as you log in, you're met with this. Once you see this, the first thing you need to do is upload, okay? You get started by uploading your music, so you will upload your music track here. It's a very easy to navigate, okay? Very, very easy. So I'm just gonna upload a music track that I have here, all right? So I go here, I have this track here ready to go, and, and that's it, okay? It's ready to upload. Uh, the good thing is that you don't need to upload a WAV file. You can just upload an MP3. I upload MP3s just because, you know, it's just easier for me uh, to upload. I mean, I don't need to have a, a bigger file or anything like that, but that's the upload process. Once it's done, you just click Next, and, and you will see your file there. That's it. There's, there's nothing else to it. After this, you just edit. And, and a lot of people are asking about certain things that, that you want to, like other information that you might want to input here. And this is where you will put, if, for example, if it's an album and all of this, and you have your, your codes and all of this, and you know, publishers, you, you will put it here. All right? In my case, this does not apply, because it's not an album. All right? And I don't need to put this information. This is optional. Yeah, a lot of people stress about this. Okay? A lot of people just go crazy about this type of information, but it, you don't really need it for Identify. Uh, I mean, you can put it if you want to, but there's no need to do that. For me, in my case, it's the name of the track, okay? That's the name of the track, my name, all right? Oops, can't even spell my own name. That's how dyslexic I am. Okay. And that's the information you need. Okay. That's all you need. Uh, I, don't, I don't put anything here uh, on the optional. Nothing at all. All right. Because it's optional, like I said to you. And there's, there's no need to do that. But you can go and fill up everything if you wanted to. Uh, I do, I leave it like this, and this is what has worked for me so far. I mean, I'm sure there's other videos out there about identifying how to fill in all of this uh, with more detail, but this is just, I wanna just do a quick video here that is practical for you. Click Save, and you can see that the track is ready to be submitted, and once you do that, you submit the track, and that's that. There's nothing else to it, okay? Don't overcomplicate things. There's no need to overcomplicate them. It's just what it is. And that's that. Now, once you go and see here your assets, which is the tracks that I have registered, okay, you will see this here like this. So those are the tracks that have been registered. And you can see that the one that I have just uploaded is, is still in review, right? For whatever the reasons, they might you know, rejected or whatever, but I guess, and it has never happened to me that one of the tracks has been rejected, but if, in case you do get rejected, you will see them here, okay? And, and I guess it has to do with the metadata, but in my case, there's not much metadata, or, or the file is, for whatever the reason, it, it didn't register the file. You have to remember that this, this type of services, the way it works is that your track is being fingerprinted, if you will. Okay, that's why Identify has that little fingerprint up here in the logo. So the file itself has been fingerprinted so they can track all of the tracks that you have registered here with them. Okay, and, and that's the way it works. I mean, it, it doesn't get any more easy than this. So once you want to upload a new track, you just go again here, click Upload New Track, and that's that. You got your, your reports. I've done a video about this. I'm new to this in the sense that I have just got started. So what you see here is like literally what's happening since I started. And I believe I got started in September or whatever. You know, I don't remember exactly when was the, the first day that I uploaded my very first uh, few tracks. I still have many tracks that I need to upload here, by the way. 
but this is the report. Like I said, the first reports are here. And, and slowly, you know, they start to, to stack up. I'm going to have to make some more ambient music because that track is really picking up. I can see very quickly that it's probably the same YouTube channel. I think it's the same guys. I might do a, an in-depth video about, about identify as time goes by. Uh, but once you get your music, once you have your music register, you're going to be able to see exactly where your track is being is played. Like, I mean, my ambient track is, is played in, in this particular uh, YouTube video. All right. So, you know, go figure. And you can find out a little bit more about who's playing your music. Right? Who, who has taken that music track of yours and put it somewhere. So, you know, it's very interesting. I mean, to me, this is fascinating. I was, I was showing this to my wife last night uh, because she was curious about to see, like, okay, so how does it work? She still doesn't really understand the, the, the whole thing behind it. So I was showing her the different videos. I'm not going to play them here to you right now because it's a little bit boring to just, you know, listen to some random videos about whatever and then see my music underneath it. But it's really fascinating to see how you can find your music like this with these services. Uh, you know, it's just crazy, man, to be honest. And, and it, it works wonderful. I mean, I've heard a lot of people having a lot of success with Identify, so I'm really looking to join <laughs> that group of composers that are, that are having success with Identify. So, but it's, it's as easy as that. So whatever music tracks you have, you just upload it, and this is where it lives, okay? So I don't have many pages, as you can see. Man, I only have three pages. That's fuck all. I mean, I have 700 tracks. I don't know how much, how many fit in the page. It's not a lot. But I have over 700 tracks. Uh, there are some type of, of things that you can, can do in terms of, of getting your old music tracks in order to, to generate money for you. Because even if you don't have sales with those old tracks, there's still people that are taking those tracks. Like my friend said, they have sticky hands, right? People have sticky hands and they like to take things away uh, from the internet and then they use it on YouTube. And that's where this kind of service is coming to play very, very well. Now, uh, I'm very happy with this. I mean, this is like a new beginning. And when I say new beginning, this has just been going on for a few months now for me. So I'm really looking forward to report more on this. And I'm going to be adding, like I said, I'm updating my, my guide. If you're new to music licensing and to royalty-free libraries and to earning money with your music, download my free guide. Identified as it is right now, it's not part of the seven steps. But I'm certainly going to add identify because now that I have done it and now that I have seen some result and it's still early days for me, I'm definitely adding this because it's an important part. Uh, of any composer to be part of this. A lot of people are talking about some libraries that they do not accept uh, either PRO, register music, or identify fingerprint music with content ID and whatnot. And you know, you will, you will read that very clearly on certain websites. Now, all the libraries that I have here in my guy, they do all accept content ID, okay? And if they don't accept a content ID, I will not join them. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh, with PRO, it's a different story altogether, you know, and it's a little bit of a gray area. But with Content ID, you can't do anything because it, the, the file itself is being fingerprinted. And, you know, for me, once I start seeing revenue, I'm in the business of making revenue with my music, full stop. So if there's a library that says, I don't want your music that is registered with Content ID, I go, like we say here in Greece, and they, yeah. Okay, because I'm in the business of making money, and this has proved already in the early days that it's making me money. So I'm not going to upload a music track that has been registered with a content ID or a me I'm not going to risk not registering one of my music tracks and upload it to a library in the hopes that I might make some sales. But then leave the door open for people with sticky, hand, sticky hands grab my track. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm pretty sure I left a lot of money on the table over the years. And uh, I, many composers have advised me to join content ID and for whatever the reasons I didn't. And my excuse was that, 
that a lot of libraries do not accept fingerprinting. That's just a story I was telling myself. I was just being lazy, to be quite honest. I thought that this process was more complicated, but it's not. It's very easy, as you can see. Thank you so much for all the love and support, my friend. It really means the world to me that you're subscribing and leaving comments and showing love for the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in another video.